Imagine if Tails doll was a Funko Pop. Yeah, I can see it. I imagine it so you don't have to. Anyways, welcome back everybody. Uh, we're just finishing the final steps of installing the new Smash update and uh, we should be into things in just a moment. Oh fuck, I didn't know what you were streaming. Also, what the fuck is going on here? <laughs> I did Sonic R earlier. We kind of did a bit of a deep dive into the the creepy pasta. We went straight to the source. But, you know, that is preserved for all time now. What if there was a Tails doll trophy or a, a spirit in Smash? That would be fucked up, I think. You know, I was sitting in silence there for a few seconds, and I'm like, mm. But sometimes you have to remember <laughs> what the loading time on fucking Wii U was like. My god. I oh my god! I was about to say, like, what if in the next Smash Bros, Steve is, like, in that pre-rendered opening, and he's up there with the crowd on the cliff? My god, I'm really looking at this right now, huh? It really is one thing to see it in a video, and then just, for this, to be staring you right in the face. And a new stage. And new music. Oh boy. I was trying... Up until, like, right before I started streaming to see what the, the patch notes, like, the balance changes for this update was. I, I wasn't able to find it. Oh, that's hideous. Oh, my God. Yep, it's him. What would it be with the exclusive offer for Switch Online members? I like exclusive offers and being a member of Switch Online. Oh, my God. Oh my god, the announcer is about to say his name! I'm not ready for this! These are just items off. Blah, 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 blah. Oh my god. Minecraft World! Jesus Christ. It's real! It's really real! Oh, look at this new CSS. There he is. Steve. That's how he says it? Steve. And his icon is just like a, like a block. Alex. Steve. Alex. He says Alex like she's in trouble, like she's being reprimanded for something. Please say Enderman and Zombie. zombie. Yes! I ask for so little, and and they come through. Enderman's good. Honestly, if I were to like main this character, Enderman is what I would pick. Cause look, look at this guy, he's so cute. Uh, and I guess I'll just go up against a random CPU. This is gonna take some learning, I think. Enderman is a G. It's true. Look at him. Three, two, one, and this music. Go. Here we go. Oh. Yeah, it's all coming back to me, the stuff that Sakurai was talking about. So if I... You can... Do that. So you can craft a, a better... Now I'm using a shovel. Right, your tool changes based... So I, if I do it straight down. That's flint. Oh god. Okay, good to know. That's your neutral A. What's the grab? Let's see the grab on Enderman. I'm just trying to figure out how to do my mining. Oh, your neutral B is mine. Gotcha. Oh god. Don't want to do that. Yeah, that kind of just goes with whatever is like in front of you. I gotcha. Anyways, let's try to do our best not to lose against like a level 3 CPU. <laughs> I have a reputation to uphold, please. So what is, like, the... the lava magma stuff? What is that? There's that. 
Oh god. Oh, <laughs> the creatures are coming out at night. I had a powered rail. There's that. That's interesting. Oh, they make the the, the burr noises. Okay. Oh, that's how that works. So that's your down A. Okay, so your down tilt is flint. And then your down A is lava. So I can make like a minecart and then jump out of it and then... Oh! That felt fucking evil! It's your up smash and down smash. Gotcha. Griffin, this is good and all. Oh yeah, look at that. But for real, Minecraft stream when? I don't know. I don't think I would ever want to return to it. Because, like, there was a version way back when that I used to really, really like for sure. But, like, I just look at the stuff that they announce in Minecraft now and it's it's just not for me. Which is fine. But they're, like, announcing, like, all these mobs. And like, that's honestly one of the things that, like, turned me off of Minecraft in the first place. Is that they added bats and you can't turn them off. And they scare me! Like, even in peaceful, even in creative, they don't go away, and I don't like jump scares! I just want to fucking build! Bees are alright, but I saw Max play. Oh, diamonds. Uh, I gotta craft something, right? Whoa! Cool! I don't know, I'm blasting through this shit. So if you shield... If you shield and then B... That makes a new table. I remember that from the presentation. That's fun. That's really- I really like the minecart. That's a fun move. I want to mine every last block. Yeah, and there's the wood, just like Sakurai said. That's cool. Uh. Oh, the anvil! Feels good, feels good! Movement speed side to side isn't too bad either. Griffin, bats are good. Listen, when I'm in the deep dark cave and I hear things moving around, I don't I don't want to be any part of it. You can say it's good. That doesn't make mean that I'm suddenly no longer primally afraid of it. I gotta, I gotta go craft again. I gotta go miney crafty. Oh cool. Let's try some grabs. <laughs> Ooh, not quite. That's got like a long like leg on it when when you do that. You can't really do much once you've summoned it. I meant to jump out of that. <laughs> You just played Sonic R. Tails doll is like three times scarier than anything in Minecraft. Oh my god, the victory animations! We haven't seen all of these yet. Only the, the one from the trailer with like the house. That's gonna be fun to see. That's a good one right off the bat. Alright. Now, as is customary... Yeah, so I'll go items off. I'll pick the same stage. It's been so long since I touched Smash Ultimate, I forget like the order that these menus go in. It's rules, stages, characters. But I want to go Corrin. I want to go against a uh, mean Steve. We get fucking owned. Tell me I'm wrong. Easy, you're wrong. Tails doll's in front of you. You can see him. Tails doll is the knowable. The bats are the unknown. Look at all these chickens! Oh sh- oh my- oh my- oh my- he's aggressive! Perhaps level 9 wasn't the best idea considering that I haven't played this in ages. It's gonna be back with Corrin though. Missed you, bud. Jeez. Oh, you can like, pin him out of the minecart though, that's cool.
Ah, uh, but shitty recovery. That's that's where the trade-off is gonna be. Because up against level three earlier, didn't get knocked around too much. But if I can knock them around, yeah, we're talking. I'm excited to listen to a lot of this music too, because this main one from the trailer is, is really good. Oh shit, yeah! I didn't touch the, um... The block building whatsoever. What button does that? Because it's not your neutral B, is it? Oh, look at the stock icon. It's just Minecraft Steve without a face. Herobrine? A skeleton's a creature. Steve doesn't have like a counter or a reflect, right? Oh yeah, that feels good. Oh, that was just out of range. Oh my god, Corrin's a fucking farm animal! Oh, oh that's so juicy. I fall for that so easily. I'm waiting. I'm waiting for him to bust out the TNT, and I'm going to play myself so hard. Oh, that goes up through the platform, too. That's, that's good range, actually. Vertically? Oof. Oh, look at this! Look at th this dude's trying to play! Why does the AI know to do that? It's trying to, like, build a cliff so I bog my head on the ceiling and can't recover! It's evil! Griffin's horny for a farm animal. No, I'm not! It's not true! Stop! Yeah, seeing the AI place this stuff is pretty cool. I'm gonna throw him into it. No? Ah. Uh, timing on that is not nearly what I thought it was. That is the wrong direction, Griffin. <laughs> don't, don't pull this shit! Why do they program Steve to be so evil? Oh, he's got to craft a new crafting table now, though. Oh, shit. That's not really dodgeable, is that, though? It's actually pretty decent range on that glider thingy. I know it's like fireworks or something. I don't know. I won! That wasn't so bad. Corrin always getting knocked around a little bit. Corrin's bouncing around. <laughs> Look at his clapping animation! Oh, His head is motionless! Look at that! Oh, that's spectacular. Okay, let's do a Steve. Let's do a Steve v. Corrin. Mm, maybe not v. Corrin. Something resembling that, though. Ah, oh, yes. Oh! Oh! <laughs> it takes so long to load the alts! The more characters they add, the worse it gets! Let's do- let's- I'm gonna be Steve, and then the CPU can be Yoshi, because then it's like the fucked up Yoshi Minecraft horse. Oh, sh I did not mean to leave that at level 9. I'm in big trouble. Yoshi's going to murder me with his bare hands. No music, though, at least. God, the, the way they animated it is so, like, even, <laughs> the get-up animation, even things like the dodge is like, it's just how you think it would look. No fancy frills, it's, it's just, it's just Minecraft, let me tell you. Anyways, any update on how to place blocks? I can do TNT, minecarts, and the anvil, but that's it. I don't know where blocks come from. Well, when a Yoshi horse and his Steve love each other very much, 
guess we have a little bit of a better thingy now for mining. So very little of the music that they wound up using for this is actually from Minecraft, right? This is like a bunch of like the spin-off stuff. The Yoshi Minecraft horse is so fucking funny. That is correct, it is. I'm gonna get you. Oh, so if you're ledge grabbing, that is you can go under it. That's a little bit better. That's what we like to see. Down B is TNT. So maybe like I'll throw Yoshi into it. Using the minecart to set it off is such a big brain move, I love that. Oh boy, this tree is not going to be able to protect me for much longer. Ah, uh, no redstone though. And no! Oh, I was really hoping for it. I was really hoping. There's no Minecraft music at all. It's all spin-off stuff. That's kind of disappointing. Oh, that's how that works. Okay, you hold down the B button. I just want to mine for for God's sake. Oh. Nope. <gasps> I don't have anything to mine with though. I don't have any redstone or materials of any kind. I got to get this boy out of here. Even just as Steve, it's 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 fun to lose. Cause then you get to see that clapping animation and it's glorious. But also things like just like the damage animation. Like he just doesn't react at all. It's like in a T pose. It's amazing. I kinda wanna go again though. I kinda wanna go again. Steve! Steve! Thank you, Xander Mobus. What must have been going through his head when recording that line, I wonder? Three, two, one, go! <laughs> I love it when he just like fucking falls over. See, this is why they took the Yoshi horse out of Minecraft. It was too powerful. I don't have any redstone. A little bit now. I'm getting bitch slapped here. You could like place like midair rails, it's nuts. Sorry, I was looking at chat to see if anybody had explained to me how block placing works yet, and unfortunately I that is not a thing. Feels like a move list. Craft tools. Are... So it's just your B. Okay. Oh, you can just do like the whole list here. Damn. Let's try it. So while not at a crafting table, it's your neutral B. Oh. Oh, the egg is the shield. I forget that that is like a visual thing with Yoshi. It's not like a separate. Movie he's doing? It's just shield equivalent. See, and now Yoshi, the horse, goes to the horse farm. See, but this is. I thought mining is neutral B. You have to be in midair to do it, I guess? You can't do it while standing? Oh, fuck! So the minecart isn't quite as immune as you think it is. I don't have anything to make a, an anvil with. I don't have the supplies. Oh! Neutral B does mining, crafting, and block placing. Holy shit, this is an advanced character. I like it, but 
god is it gonna take some getting used to, if ever. <gasps> oh, I gotta fucking mine. I gotta mine for my life. And craft, maybe. See, though, I think it says a lot about how this character was executed, where I'm playing as the character, and, like, just as a strategy of what I need to do, I'm like, oh, shit, I need to mine. Oh, shit, I need to craft. That's what it's all about, baby! Hoping that would go a little bit differently. Oh, this is it for me. This is the end of the line for me. He just doesn't react. Oh, <laughs> the little icon's still there. I'll give it one more go, but we'll probably take a peek at Classic Mode pretty soon. I'm having a lot of fun, like, just coming to grips with it, though. Because every time I come back, I'm, like, kind of latching on to something new. I don't think I'm, I've remotely figured out, like, the power of placing blocks quite yet. The AI seems to, though, but... That definitely has a lot more potential than I'm giving it credit for. Look, let's try it. That's TNT. That's down B, and then... So if I do neutral, though... I don't have any tools. Oh yeah, this is a miserable... Even with the double jump, you can't get to that, really. Oof. That, that hurt to watch. Oh, but I could have just spawned a new one, I guess. In all fairness. Yeah, you can get out of that pretty quickly as long as your reaction time is good. And considering this is a level 9, it's probably going to be the case this entire time. Yeah, I feel like unless you have redstone, then the minecart isn't actually that good. Like, I'm treating it a little bit more like Bowser Jr.'s clown car, but you need, like, more preparation before you do, like, anything in this. So finding those openings of when to mine is really the make or break. I'm gonna fucking get you, Yoshi! Yeah, and you can have, like, different, like, levels of craft for tools when some start to break. God, what a cool- Oh, you can mine the thin platforms, too! That's useless. <laughs> oh! Steve is so weird, buddy. Yeah, weird is a good word to describe this character. By no means bad, though. I really like what this is. But compared to any other character in Smash Bros., it is, yeah, very different. Just unique, I guess. Which is a good descriptor. I like that they're they're going really out there with the DLC characters, not just in picks, but in terms of like move sets too, you know? So that can go through that platform, so that's a good consideration to make for next time. 
And you can only, like, start a powered rail when you first initiate that, so... I'm, I'm all out. I'm fresh out. Oh, my block kind of stopped it from passing down through the bottom of the platform. Look at that. See, but his up B isn't really offensive. It, it doesn't seem. That's a decent block. That would have been so cool if that worked. Oh, you need gold, too, though, for powered rails. Yeah, you do your thing, Yoshi. <laughs> I am evil. I am evil, Minecraft Steve. steve -o! I'm steve -o! See, but it's not on both sides simultaneously, so you can kind of take advantage of that timing of, like, the left-to-right business. You can, like, back away a little bit while mining, too. That's helpful. really fun to pull off. <gasps> Getting stuck on the screen. Griffin build a penis on it. I think I'm going to move on to classic mode, but that last one was a really, really fun match. This is already just a delightful character. I'm also curious to see how this whole grid system with the blocks works in regards to, like, custom stages. Like, how are they going to align it with the assets, I wonder? Oh my god, there's an Ender Dragon spirit? Holy moly. And Ring Fit Adventure! I don't remember that being here, but I guess that's new. Alright, games and more. Let's go, baby. I have still never tried VR mode. Does anybody here in chat actually have that headset thingy? Here we go. Journey to the Far Lands. Yo! Isn't the Far Lands like that thing that was like in really old versions of Minecraft where like, if you went far enough, the world would start to get fucked up? And the fans called it the Far Lands, right? There's like a floating point kind of thing. That's a fun tribute. Big if true. I know a little bit of Minecraft facts. All right, let's do. Let's start at five. And get my ass kicked swiftly, promptly. Zombie. Zombie. Ready? Go. Oh, this is good. And it's like HP based too. Okay. And we all kind of start off with some supplies, too, so I can just fucking do this if I so please. But all the zombies can craft, so we can all use each other's crafting tables, right? Oh, items! I miss items. Remember items! Oh my... First of all... No eyes, Steve! But it's really funny seeing him, like, hold realistic objects. Also, baby zombie. Ah, oh, that is delightful. Isn't there currently a Let's Play that's, like, ten years old of somebody walking in a straight line to the Far Lands, and they still aren't there? 
I think that Let's Play is even called Journey to the Farlands, Femi. Although I could have sworn they got there. How close are they? They're like 30% of the way there. Holy shit. Also, I am very angry about F Corn being there. Wario? Why, Rio? It's not a straight line. Ah. Ready? Go! So why is... What Minecraft reference is my team supposed to be? With a villager and a robot? I'm gonna need some Minecraft heads to clue me in on this one. Also, <laughs> this is a clusterfuck. It's very difficult to tell what's going on. <gasps> Chicken! A lot of items, too. Bees. I thought these were all going to be, um, HP battles, too, but this one's actually a, a standard, like, percentage-based one. God, Wario's fucking crawling animation. You love to see it. Oh! That one's on me. Villagers and golems. Wario's are the illagers. What the fuck is an illager? Yeah, it's, it's odd that there's no, like, redstone icon you get alongside the, um, gold and diamond symbols. I wonder what the design considerations for that were, were. How they came to that. There are evil villagers. Evil villagers that try to kill the normal villagers. They do, like, a horde raid. It's kind of cool. That is not cool, and yet another reason why I will never touch Minecraft again. All right, three links. What's this reference gonna be? Oh, they're like skeletons? Because they're white and have arrows? That's fun. Actually, is there an ability for Steve to fire a bow? Also, yeah, HP battle, yikes. Yeah, it, it's trickier than you think to, to get music right for these DLC characters, because they've done a lot of these guests, like, dirty. Because, like, Minecraft does have a lot of iconic music that's a part of its history, but it's just a shame that, like, this is all you get to represent it. It's probably because redstone is gained around as often as iron and stone. Okay. So that's the gauge that you use. Alright, we got... What is this? Bats? This is what I'm scared of! Why do they sound like that, though? They're not tiny pits, are they? Maybe they are. Stop owning me! Stop owning me! Oh my god. <gasps> Why is Robin here? What is his reference? I mean, yeah, they really did their research, though. Oh, shit. Oh, this one was an HP battle. Because, like, I consider myself, like, decently knowledgeable, at least as far as, like, Minecraft basics go, but this is, like, on a whole other level. Anyways, Final Smash time. Ah, oh, first one and I missed it. You love to see it. Oh, so the minecart can be deflected if like your opponent uses a reflect. Oh, that doesn't even reach. That's what I was trying to do this whole time. This whole time I couldn't manage it. There we go. Yeesh. 
probably because that music was pre-Microsoft. I get why. Because, like, doesn't... I almost said CS188. That is somebody who makes YouTube poops. Something... Their name is something like that, though. The person who makes the music for Minecraft still, like, holds all the rights to it, right? Oh, this is the, the evil wizard illager? It's like the Woodland Mansions... There are enemies in mansions who use magic and summon flying enemies, so that's what this is in reference to. Also, the flying monsters show up and attack you if you stay up for three nights in a row? C418. Griffin, I think you were less knowledgeable than you think. This is what I'm saying is that, like, for my time, by the time I stopped playing, I was really knowledgeable. But this is all new shit that they've added since I stopped playing. It's really interesting to learn about all of it, though, at a rapid pace. Oh, this is a- this is the nether! This is a funny one. This is good. This is really, really funny. This one is brilliant. I love this one so much. <gasps> you are only making me stronger. <sighs> I gotta get out of here. No! I gotta get out of here. I can mine this too. So because of the stage we're on, I'm like more likely to get like, you know, it's like I'm mining an iron block. <gasps> Nothing below me but boiling lava! Who got who? Oh, I got Kirby. Okay, cool. I throw my pickaxe in the air sometimes. Yeah, ghasts and pigmen, because Kirby looks like that, and K. Rool is pink. That one I got. That one I got. It's a good one. <gasps> you. Ready? Oh, Go! this is a little bit cursed. Oh my god. wig. They made them like giant Steves too so that like the proportions kind of work back out. Didn't mean to do that. Yeah, the backing away and mining is a, is a really good move. I like that one a lot. Oh, I gotta make something. You gotta draw something! Okay, that's the way you want it. You want it? It's yours, my friend. As long as you have enough diamonds. There we go. Call upon the torch tonight to bring all of our goals to light. Is that a Captain Sparkles one? I don't know that one. It's the Eye of the Spider. <laughs> that one's a good one. Personally, I'm very partial to um the Take On Me parody, Mine Diamonds, where it's this little kid just fucking shrieking a Minecraft parody. And, uh-oh. Whoa! Briefly, you can hear somebody in the background going, Hey, shut the fuck up! At the point in time where he's like, belting out all the way into like the, In a day or two! Except, you know, he just, it sounds like a Sammy Classic Sonic fan cover. But it is at that moment where somebody says, shut the fuck up, very faintly in the background. And for that, I'll always appreciate it because you can't point to any other, like, Minecraft parody and be like, yeah, it's got it all. Because it doesn't. It doesn't got it all. Okay, I think I'm gonna have to give this up! Mine diamonds! Mine diamonds. Yes, I love mine diamonds. Doesn't that one have, like, an absurdly high amount of views on YouTube? Like, millions upon millions? Oh, 
The Ender Dragon. This is such a good bit to end on. See, I actually remember saying when watching the presentation, oh, wouldn't it be cool if, we, if they did, like, Monster Hunter? That dragon, like, Rathalos for the final, um, boss of Classic Mode. But this is a, this is a really good one. They never fail to deliver with these bits. Also, I'm very curious if I can put Giant Ridley in a minecart. Oh shit, this is an HP battle. Wait, Griffin probably doesn't even know about the new end. What's the new end? There is one end. It's the end of Dragon. Oh, the minecart just gets like super big. That's funny. This is the way. This is the way to go. This is the way how it's done. Oh god, it's a stone. <gasps> Mind that shit, please. Come on. Just one diamond slash, it's all I need. One little story is all I need. I must slay the beast! See, I just wanted, like, a crit with the diamond sword. That's the way to do it. I think Minecraft Steve should get, like, a like a plastic Minecraft toy that, like, folds in on itself and becomes a diamond pickaxe and sword. It's a biome called The End, where the Ender Dragon is. No, I remember that. I thought you were saying that they added another ending on top of that. That was pretty close to the time that I stopped playing, though. See, this would have been such a good place to put, like, some more peaceful, like, classic Minecraft music. Like, at least one track. It just feels like a little bit of a letdown that there's no representation whatsoever. Because, like, again, there's also the excuse that, like, it would be too calm. But, like, there's a lot of, like, relaxing, like, Animal Crossing music, Fire Emblem music. We Fit isn't exactly, you know, the, the most intense series to draw from, so... I don't know, I think that's just what they're saying rather than we couldn't get the rights to- because even with Final Fantasy, they never, like, were straight up with that. Because I think it's bad PR to just be like, yeah, blame the other company. I don't know, to me it seems like that's pretty clear that that's what happened, though. There are more islands in the end with end castles and fizzy lifting clams. That's not- Jackie, that's not true. Don't tell lies, that's not nice. This is like kind of a nice piece though. Is this a new arrangement or is this just like ported music from like these side games? Because I have no fucking idea, even less of a clue than with, like, new Minecraft. Griffin, I have never lied to you in my life. Well, there's a first for everything, and you're proving that in spades. No, they're right? You get the Elytra in the end castles. You're telling me that there's a creature in Minecraft called a fizzy lifting clam? This simply cannot be. It's true, Griffin. No, they're right. Guys, look at there's a Minecraft squid in the background. It was a it was a warning of what was to come all this time.
Wow. Oh, <laughs> that's cute. That's a fun ending screen. Look at that. Oh yeah. And this dude don't even know about the clams. Damn right I don't know about the clams and good riddance. Wait, why is that this Steve like gamma cool? How come this Steve like looks like that? He's like smooth. Why are you white? God, remember Skyda's Minecraft and his war against the squids? No, I don't. The only Minecraft Let's Players I watched were Tobuscus and Captain Sparkles. <sniffs> Anyways, time for spirit battles. <laughs> That's new Steve? Is this like another Pac-Man situation? Where like... Sakurai refused to put Pac-Man in if he was forced to use the shitty new design. Oh, honey. Is Steve... Did they make Steve white? Yes, it should be on the spirit board, right? Spirit no, I do not want to be here. Post-Microsoft Steve. Why? Why, though? Does he look like that in the game? Like, did they change the texture? Look it up. Also here, DLC spirits. Uh. Yeah, all- look at this, look at this, look at this! All of this artwork is like weirdly smoothed out. Except for the ghast, I guess. Oh, I don't like this art style at all. And that's saying something. Now the question is, do I want to do this with Corrin, as I have done every spirit battle ever, or do I do it with Steve? I mean, I mean, Corrin's got the advantage, so. Oh, he's got Alucard. New Horizons Minecraft. I had the Tobuscus Minotaur song stuck in my head for like two hours today. Ready? Go! Why do I have this? I don't want this. Get out of here. See, like, I, I'm, I'm sure that if I, like, really put my time into Steve, then I would, like, really flourish, but it's just, ah, oh, so much fun dancing around the stage and just going flying all over the place as Corrin. There's nothing like it. Java Edition is the classic Minecraft, and Bedrock Edition is the kind of Minecraft that Microsoft is trying to sell. Which is full of microtransactions, and no mod support, and white Steve. How long have they been ruining it? What? Micro... microtransactions in exchange for what? Is that how they're going to always be behaving with the exploding? Oh, I see that there's just- that's the kind of item there is. Darn. Man, that's just a hell of a chain reaction, though. <gasps> Oh, so if I set off a nearby one, that doesn't count as my damage. It can, like, backfire. But because they're all on a team, they actually can't hurt each other with these. So it's up to me. So what was the bit here? Oh, they're creepers! I thought they were slimes. No, that's clever then, I like that. Yup, it's just like paid mods and skins and resource packs. Every console version of Minecraft is the Bedrock Edition. 
Java Edition is the only version of Minecraft worth playing, basically. But, so the Bedrock Edition is the only one that gets the updates anymore, I assume, right? I heard there was some sort of transition that they did, where there were, like, two versions of Minecraft on the eShop for a little while, and people were, like, having trouble, like, getting their stuff ported over, or, like, getting access to it, or, like, having to buy it again. I just didn't know, like, that that, that was the difference. Sudden Final Smash! We still haven't seen Steve's Final Smash in action. I mean, like a little bit? Like, from the direct, like, we all kind of saw it and we know what it is. Mr. Sakurai presents. Same with Steve Kirby, but... Wait, they both get updates? Java Edition still gets updates. Oh! But like, it's Microsoft though. They're only going to maintain that for so long, right? These are the Steves. I mean, <laughs> this lines. I don't know. I see down the road in the future that there's going to be like eventually, you know, one of those like YouTube moments where they kill off like something as big and fundamental as annotations and then be like, they don't even work anymore. And then all the reasons listed are entirely their fault and they're just doing it to be cheap. And there's going to be a big outrage and a lot of people are going to be like very depressed and like very reminiscent over all the memories that they have with the Java edition. And so it's going to be all gone. Oh no! They're so tiny, my attacks go right over them! Die. There's literally no point to not getting Java Edition unless you don't have a PC and really want to play Minecraft. Victory! Just like how Apple is getting rid of including headphones and a charger with their new phones. Can we talk about that? There was a keynote earlier today. Can you still call it a keynote if it's like digital and not in person? Um, I fucking lost it. I've got to go back and like make a clip of it when they talked about how the new iPhone box is their thinnest and lightest ever because they don't include shit in the box. And also, their excuse was like for environmental reasons, but the new cable is lightning to USB-C, which is a good thing. Oh, that's funny, teleporting. Haha, <laughs> I get it. Because at least it's modern, but that kind of defeats the purpose of like, oh yeah, Everyone already has the bricks, the USB-A bricks. There's millions of those in circulation. So people will just use those and it'll be fine. But if the cable that comes with it is USB-C, then it's not going to work with those old bricks. Also, they've got this, like, mag-safe charging thing. It's like a little magnet, and it has chi in it. It's- which, honestly, in a vacuum, is cool on its own. There's, like, all sorts of, like, different magnetic accessories that use, like, the same points on the phone. It's just disappointing to me because, man, I was rooting for air power so hard, which was, if you're not aware, um... It was, like, a previous wireless charging technology that they were working on, and this was announced back along the iPhone 10 way back. Um, because the 8 and the 10 was when they first added Qi Charging, and so they kind of, like, did their own thing with it. Where it was, like, a large flat surface filled with, like, several charging coils on the inside that, like, overlapped. And you could place your device, phone, watch, AirPods, anything, anywhere on the mat, and it would charge. There would be no finicky placing it just right, because with 
Standard cheap heads, if you misalign them, then it just doesn't charge and it's a pain in the ass and it sucks. So their solution was to make it so that there's no dead zone. Um, but you know, years went by, 10S comes along, you open the 10S box, the, the paperwork inside references air power and shows diagrams of air power, no word on it, and then you know, time passes and it keeps passing and they just say, yeah, it, it, it's cancelled. We couldn't get it to work. God, it was just such a cool idea. And there were like rumors for the longest time that they were like still working on it in secret. There were like prototypes and models that were like teardowns of like unreleased shit that were like still like showing up behind the scenes. But the fact that they're resorting to this magnet thing Ready? screams to me that they had no other possible way of solving the alignment problem of Chi. And this is like their their compromise, right? Like them finally giving up. Which is a shame because I, if they really, if they, I don't know. It's just a shame they couldn't pull it off because it was such a cool idea. Also HomePod Mini, but not much to say about that. It's a HomePod but Mini. What I was really surprised by is that another thing that's not necessarily announced but been rumored and and shown up in like ios leaks for like it feels like a year now is um a device called air tags uh which are a little bit you guys know those like tile location trackers it's like a little square shaped um gps thing and you can like put it on your keys or something like that so if you lose them then you can find them with your phone so Apple is supposedly making their own first party version of that. And in theory, the way it's going to work is that the new iPhones have a U1 chip, an ultra wideband chip, um, which gives it like really precise, like wireless spatial awareness. So what the leaks have said is that like, you use the AirTags thing and you go on your phone and you can see an AR and where, wherever your missing item is, it shows a red balloon. So, you know, you're like, you know, your keys are like in a couch cushion and you can't see it with your eyes, but you're looking around with your phone. It's like, oh, there's this big red balloon on the couch. Ready? I'll go fish it out of there. Go! Which is also a really cool idea, but... I have to assume that's just like another thing, like, due to COVID delays and stuff. But they just couldn't get it out. Also, supposedly, a, a thing called AirPods Studio, which is like, kind of over-ear AirPods. Which might be for me. Because they've got the AirPods Pro, which are nicer. But for me, what my, my main concern is, honestly, like... I don't mind compromising a little bit on sound quality, as long as, like, the battery life is solid. And right now, my current ones, which are, like, Sennheisers from five years ago, uh, maybe get about five or six hours on a single charge. Which is not bad. Uh... Yeesh, this one's tricky. But I feel like if they, they took that, like, that pairing experience and put it into something that, like, really lasted and didn't, like, die because the, like, die over, like, the course of a year of use because the battery is the size of a pumpkin seed, then, you know, I could be open to that. That'd be a pretty cool idea. But if that's not a thing, I don't think I'll, I'll pull the trigger on standard AirPods again. If they're just disposable like that, then it's not worth the purchase. But yeah, no word on those those rumored things. But supposedly there's also going to be a November event where they talk about the, the Apple Silicon Max. So we'll see where we are next month if, if, they, if that turns out to be true. And if they talk about maybe products besides the Mac. I don't know though, to me, even if there were a November event, it's like, if you think about what these products really are, it's like, first of all, chicken on you, please. Like everything that I just described and also the HomePod, like, those things are more like accessories to the iPhone, primarily. 
So I don't see them bringing up more iPhone accessories, which is pretty inarguably what things like that tracker thingy would be. At like a Mac event. So unfortunately, while it does sound like there's some pretty cool ideas at play, we're just not going to hear about it for a long time. AirPods actually destroy my hope for humanity. Yeah, it's, it is very ridiculous, like, how disposable they are, huh? Because that's how it was with me at first, is that, as always, as, like, an out-of-the-box experience, it's, you know, the typical Apple approach you would expect to a product, is that, like, you know, they see little pain points with, with the product category that they're entering, in this case, Bluetooth headphones being a pain in the ass to pair, and then they solve it, and it's like a really nice, elegant solution. But like, the longevity of it is just like, what were they thinking? Like, you just can't even get new batteries once the, the current ones wear out. You just have to throw the whole thing out. It's like nuts. Like, if they want to be carbon neutral by 2030, they gotta figure that shit out, I think, sooner rather than later. Yes! Okay. No! Wait! <laughs> oh, I thought once Rob was out of the picture, I would have it in the bag. Not so. I just can't get over, like, the ridiculous human cost of their production, then they become useless after, like, a year, then they can't fucking be recycled, and will probably outlast civilization as we know it. Yeah, it's bizarre to me, because... The way the AirPod is, like, structured on the inside, the battery is, like, kind of like a cylinder that goes in, like, the, the stem part, the part that sticks out of the ear. So in theory, you'd think it'd be possible to, like, make a modular design where you can just, like, kind of open up the stem, pull the battery out, and put a new one in. That way the whole thing doesn't have to go to waste, but... User removable batteries hasn't been Apple's MO for a long time, so... We'll see with these tile devices, though, because supposedly the rumor for that is that they're just going to use, like, standard, like, coin cell batteries, like those kinds that you would, like, find in a watch. Because the Apple TV remote still have user-replaceable batteries, right? And those ones are coin cell? So it's not entirely unheard of, but they're also probably not putting coin cells in, like, that small of a body. The sun fucking collapses and all the remains of humanity are the piles of AirPods buried in the crust under the oceans which cover 90% of the planet. You're approaching this as if... <clears throat> Being disposable isn't an intended part of the design. Yeah, that's like, as I was saying it, like, the feasibility of whether or not it could work is like, yeah, but that means people would buy less brand new pairs of AirPods, which is, you know, I'm sure good for them. Yeah, I don't, I'm not getting another pair, though until they get their shit together and they do solve that problem. Because, hey, talking about pain points of entering product categories, wired headphones don't do that.
Oh boy. I'm just gonna hope this wall holds out as long as it can. Why though? <gasps> wow. Dizzy Steve. Looks the same as everything else, as every other animation. Ooh, that's some good range though. And yet Rob is still not fucking gone! Leave! Immediately! Oh, I don't want to be this close to the edge with this kind of percentage though. There we go, back off, that's it, back off. Come on. Give me time to charge up plenty of these. Oh no, I hit the chicken. No, wait! I'm not ready to go! Okay. Ooh. This one's really harrowing. I'm really freaking out right now. There's the Dragon Lance. I was just trying to remember this specific story, but wasn't Apple like sued or fined or something for slowing down some of their hardware deliberately? You've come to the right place. This Apple cuck knows all this shit. Uh, that situation, I forget which version of iOS. Oh shit, what is this? What did I just do? Oh, spirit points. Me when I am gripping. Um. But yeah, that was related to, to battery degradation, so like the AirPods, you know, the more you use them and like cycle the charges, the less of a full charge the battery can hold, so it wears down over time, right? That part's just bat uh, battery chemistry. What Apple did is that when they detected that the battery capacity was like getting to a low enough point, there were certain situations where if the phone requested a lot of power at once, then the degraded battery would not be able to provide the peak power, and so the phone would shut down immediately um, as a result. So to avoid that, they did a thing where they would just slow down the phone, like throttle it, so that it would never go above whatever the battery could handle. The problem is, they never told anybody about this. So when people's phones were getting slow, People would be like, ah, the planned obsolescence, this... I don't know what the word that I'm looking for is. But people were thinking that it was just the phone itself wearing down until people realized when you replaced the battery, performance of the phone went back up. But they never told anybody. So people were buying new phones thinking that that was the only way to get performance back when all they could do was just replace the battery. So as a result, they did get sued and they added an option to turn off that battery feature and also tell you when it was doing it and what the the remaining capacity of the battery was. And they uh, made it so that you could just go to an Apple store and get like a replacement battery for like $30. But the fact that they like got into that situation at all and like didn't tell anybody fucking sucks. Like, you know, hey, cool products, great user experience, like their software. But it's just, it's just ri so ridiculous. There's so much to make fun of them for. Like, there's, there's no right way out of shit like that, you know? There's no excuse. But that's the thing, you know, like, them getting in trouble like that is how things get better. I don't know. I ended up reading a couple articles in the time that battle took. Oh, alright. Nothing like a 5 to 15 million dollar fine to make you reevaluate your shitty policy. And the thing is, too, is that the fines, I believe, like, there were... 
it was like a global thing, like a bunch of countries came down on them. So it was like the EU, Canada, I don't know if the US did anything, because when do they ever take action against companies' shitty behavior? But I don't know, it'll be interesting to see if, like, if sometime down the road, if they do, like, wind up starting to, like, face some sort of consequences for things like the AirPods. But I guess with something like the iPhone, it's like... They're at least designed in a way where, like, the batteries can be pretty... sort of easily replaced. I don't know, I don't know much about iPhone teardowns. But like, you know, they're not like the AirPods where they're like designed from the ground up in a way on purpose where it's impossible to repair them. Like they're repairable and you could argue like right to repair stuff over like who can repair iPhones and that's a whole other conversation. Um, but with AirPods, there's just, you know, it's, it's not a who, it's a how and there isn't a how, which is the problem. It was presented before the U.S. Senate, apparently, but there were no updates that I saw. Huh. Yo, Piglin! Ain't that that new Switch Wii U port? Ready? Go. Oh, shit. I don't think I've ever seen a spirit battle use this as, as like, a default. Also, what am I looking at? Why do you look like this? This is so scary. Like what what makes a character look like this? Cause with spear battles, they, they never do like bespoke stuff like this. They have to have something equipped that makes them like this. Unless gold is, like, a status that you can add to, like, enemies for a spirit battle, but I've never seen it, if that's the case. Like, I want to say that maybe it's, like, the, the metal cap, but then that, that would make them, like, silvery, not gold. Go to hell! Baby. Yeah, speaking of, like, environmental sustainability, like the real kind, um... Has anybody else here watched the, um, latest da David Attenborough on Netflix? I forget what it's called, but I mean, it was on the front page. It seems pretty popular, but, um... I don't know how to feel about that one. It's like... It's so precise, like it's... It's, it's both parts very depressing and very uplifting. Ready? Go. The idea that, like... Well, it's not... The reality of our climate situation, like, isn't as hopeless as you would think. The problem is getting, like, the, the political will to make it actually happen. Like, the solutions are there and they're not impossible, but, like... Fuck, are we gonna do them in time? So I don't know, I just thought that that was like a, an interesting like perspective on the conversation that I surprisingly haven't really heard much of. Cause you know, it really is so easy to be like, well, nothing's gonna change, so we're fucked. But you know what, maybe, maybe, heh, <laughs> a little bit. Maybe there's a little bit of hope.
haven't watched nature docs in recent years. They all make me too sad. See, that's what I was expecting. But I was also like, I feel like I should watch this one. Because it's even fucking up, bro. But like, I thought I did a really good job of being like, it's very half and half like, this is everything that's going wrong and these are the problems, but then the second half goes back through it and it's like, well, here's every single problem that we just talked about, and here's what we can do to address every single one of them. Like, even setting aside the political aspect of it, the solutions are only for some things. Other shit, it's actually too late, like large swathes of reefs. Yeah, it did go into... Coral, as well. And that shit fucked me up, because I haven't actually, like, done too much research on myself. About, like, ocean acidification and whatnot, but, like... It's, like, very beautifully shot, too. The footage they get is amazing. Of like the, the before and after of like the reefs. It's it's unbelievable. That said, it is not it is by far not the most depressing nature documentary that I've recently watched because I forget what it's- I remember what it's called. Um, it was like one that was like produced by Michael Moore, but it's not like by him. It's like by somebody else and he just kind of, um, yeah, you know, produced it. Uh, which is called Planet of the Humans. <laughs> and this one I just think is funny, honestly, because it just talks about like green energy and how actually it's all a lie. Except like, just, just the narration is like so monotone is like well I guess there's nothing we can do the green lie has fooled us all and now Exxon Mobil is laughing their way to the bank just like shit like that and at first I was like oh well, wow I guess maybe it's not as clear cut as I thought but then I like did some research from people who actually like knew what they were talking about and they're like no these are all these are all climate denier arguments from 2010 about the viability of renewable energy because this film started development in like 2012 so that made me feel a little bit better <laughs> michael moore narration is so unintentionally hilarious it wasn't narrated by michael moore he's not in the film at all it just like has his name on it but it, it's it's a completely different movie by a completely different person Because, like, I mean, there's a lot of arguments that people like to make about a lot of Michael Moore's films, but, like, I don't think anybody has gotten any topic as outrageously bad in any Michael Moore film compared to Planet of the Humans. It's on YouTube for free, though, if you want to see what I'm talking about. <laughs> Although I wouldn't really recommend it. And, like, this, the solution that they provide to everything is, like, well, overpopulation. Which is really like... I don't know, I, I can't help... Even when I was like still kind of going along with what that film was saying and like had yet to do my own research, I always get really suspicious when people talk about like, the problem is overpopulation. Because then when you say, okay, well, if this is what you say is the problem, what is the solution? Which is, you know, kind of a, a shrug and it trails off as like, eh. Because the solution is fucking monstrous. And... Like, nobody in their right mind would actually argue that because everybody knows what, like, it actually means.
Oh, for a second I thought I won. Overpopulation is literally always eco-fascism. Yes! Yes! God, I hate those bitches who claim overpopulation for the deeds of the rich. Yeah, isn't it like... Like, 100 companies, or maybe even less than that, that's like responsible for 70% of like global pollution? I think we got an overpopulation of billionaires. I also just went swimming in some coral reefs a few years back off the south coast of the US. It was interesting, but also so fucking depressing. Ready? One of the locals was an older guy, and he was just talking about how the reefs used to look so much better. Well, yeah, that's what, um... That's actually what the, uh, the David Attenborough one, like, opens with, because, um... He's literally like, yeah, I'm 93, I was around when things were better, and, like, over time, like, this is real, and it's getting worse. Yeah, like, what, one of the things that he says, like, over time throughout the, the whole thing is, like, like, this latest film is his, his witness statement, um, which I thought was, was very potent. Recovery. Oh, I didn't see that. I think it's a mistake with any overpopulation discussion is engaging with the solutions at all, because doing so always goes under the assumption that it is a problem at all, and that it's already giving so much ground rhetorically. Yeah, that's actually one of the arguments that the um the Attenborough one addresses and it kind of like deconstructs as like, mm, not really though. It's not really a thing. Which I appreciate, because it is, like, an unusually common argument for what it is, you know? Man, I just gotta not drop the flower, I think. <laughs> he just really always gets his fucking claws on it. His big, meaty, sexy claws. Like, stop! Uh... There we go, I just want to get this on his head! <laughs> Look at the top of his head! <laughs> You'd think the reduced mobility would go some ways in, like, making it easier to avoid the attacks, but it's just a, a, a tricky stage to be stuck with Ridley on, you know? Ridley? Sexy? I didn't say it. Listen, if if in the Spyro reboots, David Spade as Sparks gets to call the dragons in that game sexy, then I get to call this dragon sexy. I get I get one. Also, the down A is kind of seeming like it's the way to go with Ridley. Not the side B in the wrong direction. You hate to see it. Ooh, up B is not bad either, though. This might be the new fucking Kirby up B down A up B down A. I won! See, I don't think that that's what the Ender Dragon looks like. Everything looks so, like, plasticky now. The way it's, like, shaded and lit. I don't like that. I do not trust like that. And I will not have it. That's some good gold, though. I wasn't aware that there were, like, actually tangible rewards for doing this. That's neat. Also, what is the music that plays in that collection of spirit battles? Because I kind of want to do... I think the final goal is going to be to win, like, a like a level 9 CPU as, like, as Steve. Which probably, you know, I haven't been doing very good practice as of recent. We'll do three more with Yoshi, and we'll probably wrap up for the night. How's that sound? Stop 
time to bust this bitch back out. <laughs> Yeah, Femi, that's like the exact thing that the, that the film goes into. No, I want to mine this shit. If you break it with like something that's not a pickaxe, you don't get the materials, right? See, I'm gonna stay on this side though. Oh no, he's gonna get me! <laughs> Fucking stop! <laughs> oh, I tried. I tried to like place midair blocks to save myself, but it wasn't a very good move. I don't think. I think I'm going to simply mine diamonds. Yeah, there's not really very many good ranged attacks with Steve, are there? There is that, though, which it is pretty kick-ass. Also, I need to do a much better job of reading the egg for what it is. Because I never read it as a shield, and I never think to grab. Yoshi's like the only character who does this shit. I'm sick of it, I'm sick of it. There we go. Oh, no. I'm just here to mine. I want to grill, for God's sake. I want to grow. Whoa. I saw it, it flashed before my eyes. I, I saw the solution. And I missed it by like a, by a moment. Why am I sitting and slashing? That's a thing? I think if I had a sword, that's how I would fight too. Yoshi? Enough of these games. All right, I'm, I'm giving myself two more tries. Here we go. Here goes nothing. I feel like I got pretty close on the third attempt on the first round of Steve versus Yoshi's. So we'll see if this is any better. God, with the amount of characters in this game, it must be, like, incredibly easy to, like, sentence mix Xander Mopus to say fucking anything you want. Three, two, one, go! Like, we got V noises now? It's amazing. And X and Alex. And Z with zombie. These are all very unusual vowels that we have, or vowels, consonants that we have covered now. It's good stuff. Poopers rejoice. <sighs> See, I, I don't like doing the anvil when, cause Yoshi fucking knows. He's too good. But then I don't anvil and I die anyways. <laughs> it's interesting that the crafting bench is affected by gravity. Shit. 
Also, this is the menu thing that I was just talking about. I like this one. That it that opens up so much time to mine. I love that shit. Feels amazing. Feels amazing. And back up and mine. Or not. Or not. Yoshi. Get off me. Wow. Well, that was a speedy one. And there I go. Oh yeah, probably won't have any updates on the 3D platformer thing for a while. That's alright. I don't think I'll have any updates on my 3D platformer thing for a while either, so no worries. One of these days I'm gonna make it work and it's gonna be... It's gonna be what saves me. Today is not that day though. <laughs> I have a goddamn thing to craft with. I don't have materials. I mean, this isn't gonna be the one, but a one to one stock is a much, like, fairer shot than I would usually have against Yoshi, so it's not all bad. Oh, I could have fucking blocked him right there. That could have been cool. I was gonna lose it if that worked. <laughs> Cause it never has. Oh. Oh. I'm basically I'm basically putting all my artistic stuff on Hades for I don't know how long while I try to work on more like important, impactful projects. Yeah, priorities can sometimes with, like, art, be hard to plan out, but sounds like you know more of what you're doing than I am, so. You know, from one, one like, kind of developer to another, you know, good luck. From what I have seen from your 3D platformer stuff, it, it's, like, you know what you're doing. More than I do, quite arguably, so. Hope it goes well for me. That's, that's the secret. That's the one move. This is the one move you need. You should be able to burn the snow. This is a fraud game. Wait, you can charge the up? I guess that makes sense. I just never thought to do it. It's brilliant. Yes, motherfucker. <laughs> what? <laughs> My man went into creative mode. <laughs> he just fucking walked out. Ah, oh, these animations never cease to delight. What are the taunts, by the way? You can jump and and smack like a let's player. You can you can duck, but you can also just do that as well. But this one you duck and like look at the camera, which is great. Out of my minecart? Holy moly! Yo, Yoshi just really went there. I don't have anything. At least you keep your like supplies like between stocks, though. That's handy. It's 
what I thought. Jeez, that was the first dog I took off of him, though. I kind of just want to see what charged lava looks like, though. Let's see. <laughs> I guess this is that. Probably hits harder, though. Does more damage. That's about it. But animation-wise, doesn't really... Oh, shit? I can't seem to be able to craft at that anymore. I don't know. Yeah, let's not. Let's not. Yeah, I don't know what he's doing over there, but I'm just gonna kind of do my own thing here. There we go. Now we're now we're talking, talking and cooking, toking. Could this be the one? Not to jinx it. Oh, this ain't gonna be the one. It's very tempting to think so, though, isn't it? I have, like, nothing to craft with, though. I'm gonna need this shit for later. Victory theme? But god, I wish I could do programming projects like art commissions where I could pour like 4 to 16 hours into something and have a finished product that I could just give to someone. Like every programming project takes weeks of part-time work just to get to a reasonable place, and it's so frustrating sometimes. If I could do programming like commissions, I would give so many gifts to my friends. This reminds me when Yoshi jumped into oblivion at the end of Mario 64. Yeah, that's tricky. I mean... I can hardly program for myself, let alone others, but Diamond Sword OP. Hey, no matter what form, I'll take it. That said, oh, we gotta do Minecraft on the Roblox level! Because I never answered my own question about how, like, the grid works when you play on a custom stage. Well, first of all, I think it actually keeps track of, like, the material types, which is probably easier here than anywhere else, but it's cool. But, like, dirt is dirt, and such. And frankly, this is just a roomier stage than the Minecraft one is to fight Yoshi on. I want to do it again! Get his ass, Steve. God, I love violence. Killing. Blocks. Like, Steve doesn't even tumble through the air. They just, like, walk in the air. It's great. And I'll keep you busy for a little bit. And I'll keep you even busier. Oh, that was nasty. Yeah, the, the layout of this in terms of materials actually kind of like adds a new element to this because I'm playing with Steve. Because this castle is like closer to the edge and it has like better materials. And then like the dirt is like far more like bountiful. So kind of introduces an element that previously was not there. Which begs the question, what does It's know that we don't? Who's the next character? 
Because I can guarantee you, he knows that he's not telling us. I just noticed the Yoshi picture! I mean, what Yoshi picture? Do it! Do it, I fucking dare you! Oh shit! The shield, though. See, now he sees this shit coming. Oh, I just crafted like a. I guess I like repaired my sword more than anything. Diamond! This is what won the day for me before, so. Oh! Ooh. Oh, it's fucking over for you now. I have so many fucking resources! I found the timing of like building a tower a little bit tricky. Because at first I was kind of just trying to like hold B and then like tap X, which is really tricky to do with the diamond ABXY layout. Because you're going like directly vertically, which isn't quite as easy to hold down two buttons as it is like diagonally. However, if they like, alternate between X and B, then it is doable. Oh, I'm going so fast with this, like, shovel, though! Also, two perfect shields in a row, my god, Yoshi! This is getting a little bit... precarious. I don't know. Never mind. Fucking see ya. <gasps> he eat the meat. Well, I think that's as good a uh, note as any to leave off on. This is a lot of fun! Like, looking at it from afar in the direct, I think it's one thing to, like, objective- God, surely you jested. <laughs> um, it's one thing to, like, look at something, you know, on paper, versus, like, actually getting your hands on it. But I think Steve actually really, really pays off. This is a really fun character to play as. Really! Uh, but yeah, with that, I think I am really done for tonight. So, um, with that, that was Minecraft for tonight. See, guys? I played it right now! You guys don't need to ask me ever again. If you enjoyed what you saw, you can follow me here on Twitch or on YouTube at The Full Galaxy, where all the VODs are, plus highlights and more. You can also subscribe to me right here on Twitch if you particularly enjoyed the stream tonight. You can also follow me on Twitter, Tumblr, Pillowfort, and Discord. There is a Discord server with all sorts of channels for you guys to hang out on, both on and off stream. And if any of it interests you, you can uh, check the links out uh, in the Twitch cards below. If you're watching this live or in the YouTube description, if you're watching the VOD, uh, I kind of checked in advance here and it doesn't seem like there's any art tonight. So with that, uh, I guess I'll get out of your your uh, blocky, voxely hair. And I'll see you guys next time.